Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel with another story that will likely make you roll your eyes. But before we get into it, this video is brought to you by Blackout Coffee Company. Their holiday editions are out and they have amazing non-holiday flavors as well and even plain old regular roasts if that is more your jam. Personally, I need to re-up my chocolate cherry supply. That's just me. They are a company built on traditional values and a support of the Second Amendment through their FPC and GOA partner roasts. So to get yourself a cup of coffee, tea, or hot chocolate that's awake and not woke, go to blackoutcoffee.com slash Liberty Doll. So it turns out that the Cincinnati Police Department, like many other departments throughout the country, have agreements with gun manufacturers for their service weapons. I'm not sure what those agreements entail in other departments, but apparently part of Cincinnati's agreement was to replace their department's firearms every five years and give the retired guns back to Smith & Wesson in exchange for a discount. Sometimes that discount was even just an even trade. But now, Police Chief Teresa Thiege claims that the program that has saved the department and taxpayers countless dollars sets a bad example. She says that it makes her and her officers hypocrites by preaching safe storage and responsible gun ownership while turning their retired weapons loose on the streets. <laughs> Though I would hardly call sending a gun back to the manufacturer putting it out on the streets. And uh, safe storage just has nothing to do with that at all. Instead, in the name of gun safety and gun violence prevention, the CPD will be destroying all retired firearms for the foreseeable future. Cutting the program means that now the department will have to buy all of their guns at full price. So naturally, that led the city council to approve an additional $500,000 to the department's budget an additional $500,000 in taxpayer dollars because the cops and mayor got some info from every town that, oh, 40% of crime guns are Smith & Wesson's and decided that saving taxpayer money and honoring a business agreement was morally inconsistent. People that have no problem enforcing unconstitutional laws, that arrest journalists for filming crime scenes, that arrested people for not social distancing in 2020, have officers drunk driving with expired plates, people dying of stab wounds during SWAT raids, arrest people for filming them during arrests and also allegedly threatening to shoot them for filming, have officers involved in narcotics money laundering schemes at nightclubs, and have 56-year-old officers using the police data system to get the phone numbers of 19-year-old women are talking about not trading in their department weapons and choosing to spend an extra $500,000 of taxpayer money because they're worried about moral consistency. By the way, that cop under the influence lost his driver's license for it, but was allowed to stay on the force and keep driving for his job because moral consistency. Now, I know that there will be bad apples in every police department because whether folks want to admit it or not, it is a position of power and positions of power attract bad apples. There are even psychological studies on it, <laughs> the results are not great. The mayor said, the accessibility of guns on our streets, both legal and illegal, keyword there being legal, hmm, legal accessibility of guns on our streets, is contributing to the gun violence problem that we're seeing in our community. The idea that we would send service weapons back to the manufacturers so they could just sell them and get them back on the streets struck us as inconsistent with our goals. Police Chief Thiege said that it's part of the department's decision to, quote, do their part, but also fully admitted the change is purely optic. They've got Cincinnati Works on board, a program aimed at reducing poverty and gun violence, and when asked what impacts the director there thinks that this will have on poverty and crime, he flat out said, I can't say, I don't have time for that. <laughs> Charming. Chief Thiege said that she still doesn't know how the force will destroy the retired guns, but they'll come up with something and hopefully by ATF standards, you know, for consistency. She told WCP09 that the city only has crime because people have access to firearms. Because ladies and gentlemen, it is always easier to spend money when it isn't yours. All right, folks, that is it for this video. I know this was a quick one. You guys know the drill for all of the algorithm things. Please like, share, and subscribe if you are new here. Ring that notification bell. Drop some comments down below for the algorithm. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Stay safe out there, folks, and happy shooting.